So a lot of people are talking about the Euros at the moment, but I wanted to spend a little bit of time today talking about the Copper America, but more specifically, one championship player who's currently playing at the Copper America. Let's talk about Ben Brereton. Welcome back to another video on the channel. This is such an interesting story to me and when football throws out these crazy stories and things like that, I think it's always worth having a bit of a deeper dive into it. What we're going to be doing today is detailing how Ben Brereton has gone from being born in Stoke-on-Trent to at one stage being and looking like a bit of a flop at Blackburn Rovers to now being a national hero at Chile. But if you do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like and also do stick around and subscribe for a bit of regular championship content. But without any further ado, let's go over the story of Ben Brereton, or how we should now call him, Ben Brereton Diaz. Let's go. So Ben was born in Stoke-on-Trent, and originally Stoke City did snap him up in their youth ranks. However, after being let go by him, he was then signed by Nottingham Forest as a 16-year-old. After rapidly rising through the youth ranks at Nottingham Forest, he soon found himself in the first team setup there, having his real breakthrough in the 16-17 season, where he scored three goals for Forest as a teenager. The season after that, he continued to get minutes and impress in the Forest setup, where he went on to score six goals in all competitions, and that's when the interest really started to circulate around Ben Brereton and the hype about his future. Now at this stage of his career he was being talked about as a potential future England international and he was involved in the England youth setup. Throughout his time at Nottingham Forest he represented the England under 19s where he went on to score five goals in 18 appearances for them and by all accounts he was a striker whose stock was incredibly high at the time. He was one of the hottest prospects in the championship at the time. In fact in March 2017 he was named as the Championship Apprentice of the Year, beating the likes of Lloyd Kelly and George Hurst to the award. He went on to sign a long-term contract with the club, which would have kept him there until June 2021. However, in the summer of 2018, this is when the interest really started to ramp up in Brereton. At the time, there was a lot of Premier League interest in the Nottingham Forest striker. Liverpool, at one point, with a potential £10 million bid, was being discussed. But in the end, it would be another move to the Championship, which materialised. And in the end, it was Blackburn Rovers who were able to get this deal over the line. Originally, he'd moved to East would park on a loan deal which was then finalised and turned into a permanent the following January with the fee believed to be around about £7 million so Blackburn really shelled out for Brereton at the time and put a lot of their eggs in his basket. Now despite the money that Blackburn paid for him at the time it still looked like a fairly shrewd bit of business actually. He was a young upcoming English talent who had already done it at championship level. Did he hit the ground running at Blackburn? Not quite. In fact, in his first two seasons with Blackburn, he really struggled to hit the back of the net. In 45 appearances across his first two seasons with Blackburn, he scored just the two goals for them. There was a debate to be had in terms of what his best position was, whether he was best utilised as a number nine or out on the left-hand side. But for the first two seasons at the club, it's fair to say that Blackburn weren't exactly getting a great return on the money that they paid for him. He struggled with injuries at times along the way, but more than anything, seemed to lack confidence in front of goal. And this was probably a time when fans were starting to get a little bit frustrated, people on the board level were probably getting a little bit worried as well because ultimately they had a £7 million asset who was depreciating in value every time he stepped onto the pitch. That was until this season, which really seemed to be like a turning point in his career. Because after struggling to make an impact in his first two seasons and struggling to forge his way even into that starting 11, the majority of his minutes before this had come on as a substitute from the bench. This has been the season where he's been a much more consistent performer in that starting 11. He's made 30 starts for Blackburn in this season just gone by with 10 appearances off the bench. He's contributed towards his best goal scoring season to date with 7 goals and 4 assists. And what he's really benefited from is playing alongside some really creative players this season. He's averaged just under 2 shots per game which if you compare that to his previous seasons where he was barely managing 1 shot per game. His creative stats have improved tenfold this season with dribbles per 90 and key passes. And just in general has looked like a much more comfortable player this time playing out on that left hand side and that sort of catches you up to the modern day but where has this international call up from Chile come from? Well it comes from his mum who was actually born in Chile and moved to England at a young age. As a youngster he has visited Chile before and does have other relatives who do 
live in the country. And a few months ago, we were starting to hear a few murmurs about him potentially being called up to the Chile squad for the upcoming Copa America. And in the end, that did materialise. On the 24th of May, he was called up to the Chile squad for the first time. He was called up initially for the qualifiers against Argentina and Bolivia, and was then subsequently included in the full squad heading into the tournament. He made his debut for Chile coming off the bench against Argentina in the 1-1 draw on the Copa America opener. Not exactly too bad to be making your debut for a country coming onto the pitch alongside Leo Messi who's playing for the opposition. But Bereton's breakthrough would come in the next match. Up against Bolivia he was named in the starting 11 and on the 18th of June he scored his first international goal for Chile scoring the only goal of the game to go ahead and win it 1-0 and it was a cracking finish by the way. And when we say Chile have quite the footballing fan base I think that's understated actually. Here is a graph showing the amount of followers that Ben Brereton has on Instagram and I'm guessing you can see the trend on here. But there we have it guys, Ben Brereton is now a national treasure in Chile and has every chance to go on and win silverware with them this summer with the Copa America. I'm going to be keeping a very keen eye on the competition as it unfolds and a very keen eye on Ben Brereton as well and how he actually gets on as the summer unfolds. But today was a bit of a short video guys, just a quick one because I thought this has been such an interesting story which has been massive and absolutely blown up on social media recently. I thought I'd just put together a bit of a summary about how his career has unfolded and how he's gone from a Stoke-born Englishman to now being a cult hero in Chile. Guys, if you did go to enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like. If you'd also like to see similar sort of style videos to this in the future, do let me know down below. But apart from that, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one.